We happened to be here at a meeting and we saw Tony and I introduced David to him and he had a different concept of it then. So then I persuaded him to come and he has never looked back. He's really enjoyed it. The, the whole ethos of it, the men together, the chit chat, the comradeship among them, his memory, remember things, a bit of concentration, a lot of laughter. Norman um, had refused to go to daycare for several years um, and I'd more or less given up. We came down on off chance and lo and behold an old friend was here and t partaking you know, as a helper um, and it was just brilliant. Norman just slotted in and it became the focus of his life for the last 18 months of his life. Yeah. Alan was already playing a bit of golf still at that point but was really struggling um, in the groups that he was in and um, we came down and again we never looked back it was the best thing for him he was a, he's a young man and uh, he just enjoyed the camaraderie and the fun and the ease of it for for us both and as i was saying earlier it enabled me to go to work and to leave him um, reassured that he was looked after and he was enjoying himself big thing for us about this is that they can be here on their own. We can leave them safe, yeah. secure, enjoying themselves, doing something very real. There's a lot of good things going on out there, but the carer has to attend with them. And of course, uh, you know, two hours is wonderful when you've got no, no other time to yourself. It gives you a chance to get your hair done, go to the dentist, whatever else. Men are wonderful, the one-to-one -one men. I really can't speak highly enough of them all. I really can't. It's given me the breathing space that I wouldn't otherwise have had. Nothing no. else available. I mean, he'd played rugby, he'd played cricket, yes. really good standards and high levels, but there was nothing else available to him. So this was the first thing, and gosh, thank goodness we grabbed it. <laughs>